Good evening, everybody. This is Robert from RGL518, welcoming you to another edition of Payoff Pitch 1985. Today's date is, today's date is July 28th. We are at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. The Detroit Tigers taking on the Minnesota Twins. The Tigers are 48 and 47. The Twins are 56 and 39. Let's take a look at the American League. The Twins still lead the division there with 56 wins. Seattle, however, is three wins behind them at 53. Oakland at 51. So these are your top three right now in the American League West. The Chicago White Sox, however, are four games back of Oakland and California. And California is six. The Detroit Tigers are tied pretty much with the Milwaukee Brewers at 48 wins apiece. With the Boston Red Sox as well. So we got a three-way tie here for third in wins between Detroit, Milwaukee, and Boston. They are chasing Toronto and the Yankees. There is lots score, but we have lots of baseball left. We still got two more months to go as I.D. Jester is first here at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. So that means it is up to you to make sure everyone gets their food and drink. I think we got a pretty good game tonight between the Tigers and the Twins, so we're going to get right to it. Starting pitcher for the Twins in this game was Ken Schramm. He was 9-12 and with a 4.99 ERA. Um... What do, you, what do you mean the other, other I'm not running any I'm not I'm not doing a replay of that 86 season um I for uh, for uh, fall classic as soon as the 69 season shows up which I should be getting tomorrow I'm gonna switch years I'm just doing exhibition games for now <clears throat> so I'm only doing uh using a quick results for payoff pitch so Ken Trom gets the start here for the twins let's see what happens tonight it was Detroit winning this game uh three to two. Historically, let's see if the Tiger, the Twins can change it. Leading off for the Detroit Tigers will be Lou Whitaker. Schramm is a right-hander. Whitaker batted 295, 19 homers against the rights. So I have the wins. No, that's all done by cards. That's all I'm doing. I'm just the quick play system. All done by cards. I'm sorry. I didn't understand your question. It's all been done by cards. Schramm's pitch, that is a tough 82, and it's a fly ball center field. And that will be put away by Puckett. That's out number one. Next batter for the Tigers, shortstop Alan Trammell. That's 261, nine homers against the right. Pitch from Schramm, and that is a patient 21, and that's ball four. Trammell will trot down to first on a walk. And that will bring up right fielder Kirk Gibson. Gibson batted 314, 22 home runs against the Wrights in 85. Gibson still a very good, powerful pitcher. That's right there, I Jester. You're correct. We got a big one here. Two winning teams, 48 and 47 against 56 and 39. As now that I move through August and September, I now start cutting teams that are really, that are not totally out of, that are pretty much out of it, in my opinion. So now we're going to see a lot more duplicates of certain teams. Schramm's pitch, that's a 10, that is a patient 23, and he walks Gibson. So runners at first and second as the, Tigers are in business. That brings up the designated hitter for Detroit, Lance Parrish. He's the DH today. Uh, batted 261, 19 homers against the right. Runners at first and second. Fans here at the Metrodome trying to get excited, but right now, Tigers are in business. Pitch is, that's an in play, 74. Ground ball to second base. Parrish has double play ratings of seven. Schramm is a five. That's a five. Second base to shortstop. Back to first. Double play inning over. No runs, no hits, a couple of walks. But Lance Parrish grounds out into the 5-4, into the 5-4, into the 4-6-3 double play. And that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Starting pitcher for the Tigers in this game was Frank Tanana. Ten wins, seven losses, 3-3-4 ERA. 
He is on the left. He is a lefty. And leading off from Minnesota, one of the best loved players in history, center fielder Kirby Puckett. Batted uh, 356 with four homers against lefties. He was only 25 years old here in 85. Only just becoming a big fan favorite. May he rest in peace. Pitch from Tanana. And that is a tough 82. It's a fly ball to center field. That's caught by Lemon. That's out number one. Next batter for the Twins, Ron Washington. He is at shortstop for this game today. Batted 294 against the lefties as Michael Peterson joins us here at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. As yes, as he just finished watching my inside pitch game this morning and, or, or a few hours ago, and it was crazy. If you've not watched it, please do. Pitch from Tanana. That is a tough 89. It's a ground ball to short. The throw goes to first for the second out. Next up for the Twins, first baseman Kent Herbeck. Batted 256, six homers against the lefties. Yes, Michael, that was a crazy game. Bob's Tabletop Sports joins us here at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. Pitch from Tanana, and that is a tough 05, and that is a strikeout. First strikeout by Tanana, and it's one, two, three, go the Twin Cities. No score at the end of one. Top of the second coming up. And that was one of the, and that was an excellent um, inside pitch game. I heard early it was ter it was terrific. It was a great game. Top of the second inning, leading off for the Tigers will be Daryl Evans. He is at third base for this game. Batted 260, 31 home runs against the Wrights. A very good hitter that year. Pitch from Schramm. It is a tough 55 fly ball left field. Caught by Hatcher. That's out number one. Next batter will be Barbaro Garby. Uh, he's in left field for this game. Uh, 242 batting average. Two homers against the right-handers. Pitch from Schramm. It's a patient 71. Ground ball, second base. Throws to first. Second out right there. Every game now, as we get closer and closer to the final third of the season, gets even more important. Here is Dave Bergman. Uh, Bergman is at first base for this game. He batted uh, 178. He did have three home runs against Wrights that year. Two outs. Schramm with the pitch. Defense, 37. It's a range check to first. The ball is hit to Herbeck. His range is a C, 37 on the dice. That is going to get by him. That'll be a base hit. Single for Bergman. He will hold at first. And the batter will be center fielder Chet Lemon. Chet Lemon, one of the more underrated players, I feel, in baseball history. I thought he was a solid, solid starting player. Uh, batted uh, 242, 10 homers against the rights. Bergman on it first, no threat to run. Pitch from Schramm. It is patient 73, and it's a ground ball to second base. Throw goes to first, and that's your out. That's your out, final out, and your inning. One hit for the Tigers, but that's all they get. Bottom of the second inning coming up. Here is Tom Brunanski. He was in our All-Star game for Minnesota. He was the only Minnesota player to be in the All-Star game. Uh, Brunanski is in right field for this game. Uh, batted 214, five home runs against the lefts. Tanana with the pitch. In play, 11, and that will be a single for Brunanski. And actually, I am wrong, as he actually hit that one and gets by the fielder. And Brunanski's actually going to wind up on third with a triple. 
I forgot. It's against the left-handed batter on that one. That is an 11, and Brunanski has a leadoff triple, and the Tigers and the Twins start with a man on third. That should get the uh, Twins crowd up a little bit. Here is the Minnesota designated hitter, Dave Engel. Batted 295, had seven home runs against the lefties. Runner on third. Tigers will play infield back. They'll try to get the try to get the out. And that is a tough 68. And it is a ground ball to second base. The throw goes to first for out number one. Brunanski now on the ground outs. Your run rating has to be, a, according to the rules, the ground outs have to be a run rating of seven or more scores. Brunanski's run rating is six. He's going to hold. He is going to hold. He will not score. I will keep that rule. His run rating is a six. That was a seven on the dice. If that was any lower, he would. If that was a six or lower, I would have had him score. That's a. That's another uh, ground ball rule. I create house rule. I created. So that is a ground ball out. But Brunanski holds it third, and that's first out. Here is Gary Gaetti. Gaetti is at third base, batted 206 against the lefties. Runner still on third. The infield is still normal. Pitch from Tanana. That's a tough 79. And it's a fly ball center field, and it is shallow. And a tough pitch. Bernanski can't score. That's out number two. That rule I do use. A leadoff triple, and they can't get Brunanski in. And here is Mickey Hatcher. Hatcher is in left field for this game. Uh, batted 280 home run. CND Baseball TV with Tony Porter is in the house here at the HHH Metrodome. Uh, I don't know right now. Don't know right now, Michael. Not concerned about my Dolphins. We're done. We had a great year. Think, looking forward to the playoffs, and we'll see what happens in the offseason. Can't wait for next season. Should be great. Bernanski on it third. Hatcher at the plate. Two outs. It's from Tanana, and that is a tough 50, and he'll get out of it. He pops it up to first base, and the leadoff triple is unable to score Bernanski, and the inning is over. Twins get a Big triple, but cannot bring in the run. They get one hit. It is still no score at the end of two. We go to the top of the third. <clears throat> oh, that's all right, Tony. Michael can ask me anything he likes. Here is the catcher, Bob Melvin. Melvin uh, batted 182 against right-handers in 85. He is the catcher today. We got a game here, no score between these two. Schramm's pitch, and that is a patient 60, and fly ball right field. That'll be taken care of by Bernanski, and that is the first out. Out number one, <clears throat> here is Lou Whitaker, who should be in the Hall of Fame, not Trammell. I put Whitaker in there before I put Trammell in. Schramm will pitch to Whitaker. And that is a tough 96 fly ball to right. And that's caught by Bernanski again as he as he's earning his paycheck today. Out number two. Speaking of Alan Trammell, there he is. He walked his last time up. Schramm will pitch to Trammell. And it is a patient 71. Ground ball to second base. Max taken care of there by Tuffle. Throws to first, and the inning is over. A 1-2-3 inning by Schramm. Not too bad start between these two pitchers. We go to the bottom of the third. <clears throat> slam The Slam Diego Padres. They're going to be a very tough out. There is no doubt about it. The Padres are going to be a very, very, a very, very good team. Are they better than the Dodgers? No. 
No, no, no. Win something. Then we'll talk about that. No. Dodgers are still in the best team in baseball. Tough. Tim Tuffle leads off for the for the uh, Minnesota Twins. He's at second base, future Met. Or I should say future world champion Met. Pitch from Tanana. And that is a tough 19. And it's called strike three on Tuffle. Tuffle will go back to the bench. That is strikeout number two for Tanana. Tuffle not too happy with the pitch. The umpire said, I don't care if you're happy or not. You're still out. Go sit down. Next batter is the catcher, Tim Laudner. He's the catcher today for Minnesota. Uh, batted 270, seven homers against the lefties. I guess that's the reason why he was in the lineup today. Pitch from Tanetta. And that is a patient 04, and he walks, and he walks Laudner. Laudner will trot down the first baseline and take a place at the base. He is on first, six on the dice, no steal, look, no steal attempt. And here is Kirby Puckett. Puckett 0 for 1. <clears throat> Tanana looking into Puckett. Fans want to see the Twins get on the board first. Here comes the pitch. And that is a tough 41. Puckett slams a base hit. He's got a single. A sharp liner that drops in front of the left fielder. Runner on first advances one base, so Laudner will hold at second. His run rating is actually a five. I actually understand that. So the Twins are in business with a base hit from Bucket. As he barely gets the ball, but he has it. A chance now for Ron Washington. Uh, he is 0 for 1. Twins are in business. Pitch from Tanana. That's a patient 32. And Washington slams a base hit into the outfield. That's going to be a double for Washington. It's a deep drive off the left field wall. Runners advance two bases. Laudner will come in to score. Kirby Puckett will advance to third. He will hold there. And Washington holds it second. And the Twins are on the board first. One to nothing on an RBI double by Washington. Stadium cheers. Yay. <clears throat> Runners at second and third. Now here is Kent Herbeck. They're going to go talk to Tanana on the mound, see if he's all right there. Herbeck struck out his last time up. Uh, twin, ti Tigers are going to call. We're runners at second and third. They will call the infield in. They don't want any more runs to score. Here is the pitch from Tanana, and it is a tough 90, and it's a ground ball to short. It's a ground ball to second base. That's a 10, though. The infield is in, and that's going to get by him. The ball sneaks past the drawn and infield. Hit to second base and just gets by Whitaker. That's going to be a base hit. Puckett will come in to score. Washington goes to third, and Herbeck goes to first. Two-nothing twins. So drying in the infield in. Hurts the Tigers. And now runners at first and third and one out. Here's Tom Brunanski. Brunanski got a triple his last time up. He's a one for one. Runners at first and third. Let's see. Tigers are going to call the infield normal. They're going to try to turn two on the play. Washington on third base. Here's the pitch. Tanana, that's a patient 64, and it will be a ground ball to second base. Brunan ground ball to second. Brunanski's double play rating's a seven. Tanana's a seven. That's a six, and they will turn it. Second base to shortstop. Back to first. Double play. And they get out of the inning. Four, six, three, double play. 
The Twins, though, get two runs on three hits and have a 2 nothing lead after three. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Here is Kirk Gibson. Uh, he walked his last time up. Pitch on the way. That's an end play, 45. Uh, ground ball to first base. Uh, Herbeck will take that himself. That's out number one. Nice place. Nice play there by Herbeck. Lance Parrish is next. He's the DH in this game today. Schramm will pitch to Parrish. Tough, 87. Ground ball to short. That's taken care of there by Washington. And he'll throw to first to get the second out. And now Daryl Evans. Evans 0 for 1. Schramm looking in. He will pitch to Evans. And that is a wheelhouse. 54 and a kaboom. That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep. That's going over center field. It is gone. Daryl Evans. Ken Schramm pitched him a grapefruit. Evans turned it into fruit salad. It is gone out of here. Home run by Evans. He hit 31 homers against right-handers in 85, and that one, he tore that one up. They may not find that ball anywhere. It's 2-1 to one now. Schramm gives up the homer. He averaged giving up 1.6 uh, per nine. Tigers on the board. Here is Barbaro Garby. <laughs> Two outs. Garby is 0 for 1. Schramm will pitch. That's a patient, 33. And Garby smacks a base hit into left field. He will trot down to first. The inning will continue. They're going to go talk to Schramm on the mound for a moment. Now they'll get back behind the plate. And the next batter is Dave Bergman. Bergman is one for one. He singled his last time up. Two outs. Pitch from Schramm. And that is tough. 09. Swing and a miss. Steal right out. And that will end the inning. And that is the first strikeout by Schramm. He only averaged 4.2 per nine. And the inning is done. A home run by Daryl Evans puts the Tigers on the board. One run on two hits. It's two to one twins as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Dave Engel will lead off for Minnesota. Hey, I like peas and carrots there, C and D. But gives me another night, gives me another idea though. Frank Tanano will pitch to Engel. And the pitch from him is an in-play 5 and, and, and Engel slaps one into the outfield. He hits that one into center field, splits the gap. It will find the wall. Engel, Engel trying for two. He has it. Lead-off double. Engel will hold at second base. Lead-off double for the Twins. As they are getting to Tanana a little bit early in the game, here is Gary Gaetti. He's 0 for 1. Angle on it first. Tanana with the pitch. And that's a tough 11. And it's a swing and a miss. Struck him out. Strikeout number three for Tanana. Averaged seven per nine. Next up, Mickey Hatcher. Hatcher popped out. He's 0 for 1. Steeler fan joins us here at the HHH Metrodome. Angle on its second base. 
pitch to Hatcher, and that is in play, 43. Hatcher gets a base hit. He just got it. That's going to be a single, a soft blooper into short right field. And the runner on second is Engel. He's coming around third. He will score three to one twins. RBI single by Hatcher. Twins are getting some runs. Trying to change history. Detroit won this game originally three to two. But right now it's the twins up three to one. Hatcher on it first. Here is Tim Tuffle. Still one out. Hatcher not going anywhere. Pitch from Tanana. And that is a patient 58. And Tuffle laces a base hit. That's a single. It's a ball blooped into right field. Runner on first advances one base. Hatcher will have to hold at second. That was hit to right, so Hatcher will stay where he's at. And the Twins are cooking with gas. Third hit of the inning. Next batter is Tim Laudner. Runners at first and second. Fans here at the Metrodome enjoying the game so far with their Twins leading by two. Runners at first and second. They are in business. Tribe fan joins us here at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. Pitch from Tanana. That's a tough 55. And fly ball right field. And that'll be caught by Gibson. That is out number two. It is a tough pitch, so tough pitch, so Hatcher has to hold it second. But that brings up the top of the order. Here's Puckett. Puckett one for two. He'll go up against Tanana with two outs. Tanana looking in, and here's the pitch to Purby. And that is a tough 12, and he got him. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and the inning ends there. That is strikeout number four for Tanana. The Twins, though, get one run on three hits at the end of four. Three to one, Twins. We got a good game going on right now as we go to the top of the fifth. Leading off for the Cats will be Chet Lemon. <clears throat> Lemon is 0 for 1. Pitch on the way. That is a tough 93 fly ball left field. Caught by Hatcher out number 1. Down goes Lemon, and that will bring up Bob Melvin. Melvin is the catcher for the Tigers today. He's 0 for 1. Schramm has a two-run cushion. Let's see how long he can hold it. And that is a patient 57, and it's a fly ball to right. That's taken care of by Brunanski, out number two. And here is now Lou Whitaker. Whitaker 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. Schramm looking in. Whitaker ready. And now the pitch. And it is a tough 70. It's a ground ball to short. Taken care of there by Washington. Throws to first. And another 1-2-3 inning for Schramm. We are halfway through the game. Three to one, Twins. Don't forget, we have 10-minute ticker coming up. What have we got coming up here on RJL 518? We're going to do a little fall classic baseball a little bit later today. 1986 Mets. They host the Phillies. We'll do another uh, test game. I'm going to stop calling them test games and now just call them exhibition games. 
Uh, inside pitch tomorrow, we have game number seven of the 1995 one It will be the Chicago White Sox taking on the San Diego Padres. That is our one and gone matchup for then. And payoff pitch tomorrow, we have the California Angels against the, o the Oakland Athletics tomorrow night here on payoff pitch. It went fine. Don't know what happens. We'll find out and see. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll wait. We just got to wait and see there, Bob. Thanks for asking, but we'll see what happens. So we are in the bottom of the fifth. Who's leading off? Oh, yeah, that would be Ron Washington from Minnesota. Is the bottom of the inning, so I will flip the deck. <clears throat> Tanana will pitch to Washington. And that is a tough 88 ground ball to short. That's easily picked up by Trammell. Throws to first for out number one. Washington did have a double his last time up. Here is Kent Herbeck. Herbeck one for two. He singled last up. Tanana on Tanana looking in, and he will pitch to Herbeck. And that is a tough. 59. It's a ground ball to third. Up with it is Evans. He'll throw it over to first for the second out. And now we'll see if Tom Brunanski can keep the inning going for the Twins. The only Hall of Famer they had in my 1985 All-Star game. If any of you didn't catch it, please do. It was a lot of fun to play the All-Star game for 85. Which was held here at the Metrodome, as a matter of fact. Herbeck one for two. I'm sorry, Bernanski is uh, one for two. He has a triple in the second inning. Pitch from Tanana, and that is a tough double zero. We got a rare play. We got a rare play, so we're using the season ticket baseball rare play chart. Red, black, white, and that is a six, nine, seven. And I'll bring the chart out so you guys can see it. Six nine seven. It is a bloop ball second base. Batter, it's a bloop double. Batter hits a double, but is injured sliding into second base. Holy cow. I rolled that actually a six nine seven. Yes, I did. The batter hits a double, but is injured. So that means that Brunanski is going to be out for the rest of the game. So I'll say he is injured, so he is done. And uh, he was in, uh, so let's see, he was in right field, so I got to bring in somebody to replace him. And that is going to be Randy Bush. He'll take over in second. And he'll also take over in right. They say he's okay. He's a baseball player. He'll be back. And, of course, we're using, we're using as played lineups, so I'm not doing injuries to, to further games or anything like that. Uh, you can see D56. Got to fix his uh, thing there. So Randy Bush will now take over in right field for Bernanski. He'll also take over at second base after the two-out double. On a bloop. That was a bloop double. And now the batter will be Dave Engel. Frank Tanana can't believe it. But Bush will now be over there. CND baseball strike will build all their 56 and 72 new teasers to turn around. Yeah, that probably will work. Randy Bush on its second. Angle the batter. Two outs. Here's the pitch from Tanana. That's a ballpark 97. That's in play. In play 30 for Angle. Single for Dave Angle. That's a base hit. Bush's run rating is a five. I have to draw to see if he scores. It's a hard grounder into right field, and he will. Runner on second scores. Bush comes around. He will score easily. And Engel will come, will go to first. It's four to one twins. RBI single by Engel, and that is his second hit of the game. He's two for three. Angle gets a hit. The batter now is Gary Gaetti. Still two outs. They talk to Tanana. 
His fatigue inning is the seventh. They want to see if he can go as far as he can. Gaetti is 0 for 2. Pitch on the way. That's a ballpark 68. That's going to be against the righty. That is in play. In play 50 is going to be a ground ball to third. The throw will go to second to get angle, and the inning will end there. One run on two hits for Minnesota. One injury as Tom Bernanski is now out for the game, but the Twins lead it 4-1. to one. As they are trying to change history in this matchup. Timeout. Okay. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Schramm has a three-run cushion. Leading off for the for the Cats will be Alan Trammell. He is 0 for 1. He walked his first time up. Grounded out after that. Four to one twins. Pitch from Schramm. It is a tough 35. And pop out to second base. That's out number one. Shoots that right up the chimney. First out. Here's Kirk Gibson. Gibson is also 0 for 1. Grounded out and walked. Pitch from Schramm. That's a defense. 0-9. That's not going to be good. Error check to third. The ball is at the Gaetti. His error rating is a 3. And he's going to bobble that ball. And it's going to be a one-base error. He throws wide. And he gets him off the bag. Gibson safe at first on the air, and that is an E5. First error on the Twins. As a bad throw there by Gary Gaetti allows Gibson to reach. And here's Lance Parrish, still one out. Gibson has a steal rating of four. Uh, two is on the dice. Let's see, a steal rating is an A. He had 30 stolen bases, and Laudner's arm is a three, so that would make his chance. Let's see that A3 be an excellent chance. Let's see if Gibson can go. Schramm's hold rating, though, is an eight. Is an eight, so it's not that great, but we'll roll to see what happens. So Schramm, we roll a, we roll the we roll the D6 and the D20, and there. So here we go for Schramm. We'll see if Schramm gets the. We'll see if Schramm holds him. Eight or lower, Gibson goes. And that is a six. There he goes. Excellent chance. Throw down to second base. Safe on a close play. Gibson steals second. Stolen base for Gibson. He had 30 of them in 85. So I'll send him to second on that. Now Parrish will bat with Gibson on at second. The reason why I throw the I roll the D twenty the D tens as well is in case the whole in case Gibson doesn't go, it's an automatic pickoff chance. And I use the D twenty the uh, D ten of uh, the D one hundred to see if he gets it back safely. I draw the card for the steal attempt. So Gibson on its second. Here's the pitch to Parrish, and that is a ballpark fifty six. Parrish hitting from the right side. That's in play. In play, 58. Ground ball to third. The throw's going to go to first. That's out number two. Gibson's run rating is a seven. But since the ball was at the third, he will hold there. I, he has to have a run rating of eight for me to probably send him over there. So he holds at second base. So here's Daryl Evans. Gibson on at second. Now two outs. In order to get the third base from second on a ground ball to third, the run rating has to be an eight, and the dice roll has to be equal or lower to the run rating. Otherwise, he holds. 
But Gibson's run rating is a seven, so that's average. Eight's a little bit fast. Pitch from Schramm to Evans. That's an in play, 74. Fly ball, center field. That'll be caught by Puckett, and the Twins get out of it. No runs, no hits. There was an error. Still 4-1 to Minnesota. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Mickey Hatcher leads off against Tanana. He will pitch this inning. This will be his last inning as the Tigers will go to the bet. We'll go to the pen. Tanana will pitch to Hatcher. If he gets in any trouble, could be removed earlier. That is a tough 20, and it is a pop out to second base. That'll be caught easily there by Whitaker. It's out number one. Pop out to second on a tough 20. And yeah, against lefties, it only goes as high as 18. That's out number one. Here's Tim Tuffle. Tanana will pitch. And that is wheelhouse 35. Tuffle gets a lot of it, but not all of it. It's a single. Tuffle only had one homer against left-handed pitching. So Tuffle will have to hold with a single. That's his second hit of the game. He's now two for three. Nice hit for Timmy Tuffle. Tim Laudner will try to move him over. One out. Tuffle waiting. Tanana with the pitch. And it is again a wheelhouse 26. This time, however, that will cost him. Kaboom! That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep. And that ball is gone over the center field fence. Home run, Tim Laudner. Stadium cheers. Yay! Frank Tanana pitches lima beans and corn to Laudner, and he goes ahead and turns it into succotash. It is out of here. Six to one twins. Okay, that didn't really make any sense, but all right. Just thought it sounded interesting, but well, it didn't. Six to one twins. He pitches a wheelhouse pitch to Tuffle, gives up a base hit. He does it again to Laudner. This time, Laudner made him pay for it. Six to one, Minnesota. That will be all for Tanana. Kirby Puckett is the batter, and there's still one out. So we'll see a new pitcher for the Tigers as they have to go to the pen. So let's see who they're going to bring out. Uh, let's see. Coming on to pitch for the Tigers will be Randy O'Neill. Five wins, five losses, 3-2-4 ERA. He'll pitch to Puckett. As Tanana leaves with the loss. One out, 6-1 to one Twins. Looks pretty good so far. Here's the pitch from O'Neill. That's it in play, 17. Puckett laces a single in the center. The inning continues. Puckett goes to first. That's Puckett's second end of the game. Next batter is Ron Washington. Puckett a four C steal rating, but now that it's a five, now it's five run difference. No more strategies or anything like that. O'Neill will pitch to Washington, and that's a defense ninety three. That should be okay. Error check to first. The ball is hit to Bergman. His error rating is a three. Not a problem. He's got it. And it's going to be a pop-out to first base. That is a pop-out. So he hit it in the air, and he made the play. And that is out number two. And now it'll bring up Kent Herbeck. 
Two outs. Bucket still on at for at uh, first base. Yes, it is an all all can eat buffet. Go get some food there, Tony. Bucket on at first. Herbeck will pit. We're back. Pitch from O'Neill. That's an in play ten, and it's a base hit for Herbeck. It's a single. Puckett with a run rating of six will make third with two outs. Herbeck goes to first. And the Twins are not done yet in this inning. The batter now will be Randy Bush. He came in for the injured Bernanski. Bush bats 248 against righties, had 10 home runs against them in 85. Two outs. Twins leading six to one. Looks like Minnesota going to try to turn things, try to change history here and drop the Tigers back to 500. Pitch from O'Neill. That's a ballpark 94. It's in play. In play 78. Ground ball to second base. Uh, the throw will go to will throw to, will go to first, and the inning will end there. Twins pick up two runs on four hits. One big two-run homer by Laudner. Six to one, Minnesota. Top of the seventh inning. Uh, this is Schramm's fatigue inning. We'll see how long he can go. Barbaro Garby leads off for the Tigers. Garby uh, singled his last time up. He's one for two. Schramm is pitching very well. He's only given up one run and scattered three hits. Here's the pitch to Garby. And that is a tough 31. And swing and a miss. Struck him out. Second strikeout for Schramm. That is out number one. Next batter is Dave Bergman. Schramm will pitch to Bergman. And that is a ballpark 88. That's in play. In play 89. Ground ball to second base. That's taken care of by that is taken care of by Tuffle. Throws to first. Out number two. And the next batter will be Chet Lemon. Let you guys know that, of course, I'm a member of a number of groups like for, you know, like Payoff Pitch Gamers Group, uh, Tabletop Sports Plus, uh, Universal Baseball Plus Plus. If you ever see me put in a game and some of those games really – their games to watch, inside pitch specifically. Every payoff pitch game, I will always put in the payoff pitch gamers group. All right? I will put every one of those games. But if you see an inside pitch or a fall classic game, go into Digital to Dice or uh, Universal Baseball, check the game out. That means it was special enough for me to put it in. If it was a normal game, I probably won't put it there. Pitch to Lemon, and that is a patient 77. Fly ball, center field, taken care of by Bucket. And that is out number three, and the inning is over. One, two, three for Schramm. He is doing the job today. We are at the seventh inning stretch. Six to one, Twins. Sing your take me out to the ball game. I will be right back. Yeah. 
We come back here at uh, the HHH Metrodome. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning, six to one in favor of the Twins. Randy O'Neill will come out and pitch for the Tigers for this inning, or at least they'll try to. Gary Gaetti leads off for Minnesota. Or actually, it's not Gaetti. My bad. Is it? No, I'm sorry. It is Engel. Or is it? Yeah, Dave Engel. Dave Engel leads off for Minnesota. My bad. Twins, uh, Angle's having a good game. He's two for three. Not bad for a batter who only hit 194 against right-handers. Here's the pitch from O'Neill. And that is an in play, 61. It's a fly ball to right field. That is caught by Kirk Gibson, out number one. Now the batter is Gaetti. Gaetti is 0 for 3. Um, he is the only batter to have not joined the hit parade for the Twins in this game. Pitch from O'Neill. That's an in play, 34. And, of course, as soon as I open my mouth, that gets changed. Base hit, Gary Gaetti. He hits that into center. And Gaetti will go to first. So now every player in the Twins lineup has a hit. Next batter is Mickey Hatcher. Gaetti on it first. O'Neill will pitch to Hatcher. One out, bottom of the seventh. Pitch on the way. In play, 97 fly ball left field. That's caught by Garvey. That's out number two. And Gaetti stays at second. I says it first. And here now is Tim Tuffle. Tuffle is two for three. He has two singles tonight. Gaetti on it first. O'Neill looking in. Here it comes. And that's a patient 75 fly ball center field. And that'll get taken care of by Lemon. And that is the inning. So no runs and a hit. At the end of seven, six to one twins. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Ken Trom has eight as six complete games. And he's going to hold out as long as he can. Here's Bob Melvin leading off for Detroit. Uh, gotta have him. I actually have to have him bat because Parrish is the other catcher and he's the DH. So Melvin will pitch will bat against Schramm. Melvin's 0 for 2. Schramm with the pitch. Patient 57. Fly ball to right field. And Bush will make that catch. That's out number one. And that is the third straight time that Melvin has flied out to right. Here's Lou Whitaker. Schramm will pitch to Whitaker. He is 0 for 3 today. Pitch from Whitaker to Whitaker in play 12. Not anymore. Whitaker has a base hit. Whitaker hits one into left field. Whitaker will hold at first. That's his first hit of the game. Next batter is Alan Trammell. Trammell's 0 for 2. Schramm looking into Trammell. Pitch coming in. And that is a ballpark 56. Trammell hitting from the right side. That is in play. In play 67. Ground ball second base. Trammell's double play ratings of five. Schramm is a five. That's an 11. The throw goes to first. The only play was the first base. Whitaker will advance to second. Slow rolling grounder there. So Whitaker advances to second base. 
on the runner advancement, and here is Kirk Gibson. Gibson reached on an error and walked and grounded out. He is right. He's actually 0-4-1. Whitaker on at second. Schramm dealing today. Two outs. Here's the pitch. And that is a wheelhouse. Oh, it's a leaner too. Oh, man. Or does it really matter? It does. Oh, man. That's a leaner. I can't use it. I got to re-roll. God dang. Sometimes this... Sometimes this tower ticks me off. I'll re-roll it. This time it's a tough 32, and that's going to be a swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's strikeout number three for Schramm, and the inning will come to an end. No runs. There was one hit for the Tigers. And it remains 6-1 to one in favor of Minnesota. Bottom of the eighth. Tim Laudner comes up. And the fans here at the Metrodome will give him a nice cheer for the home run he hit the last time he was up. O'Neal, uh, this is the eighth inning. He can still pitch it. O'Neill will pitch to Laudner. And that is a tough 16. That's a steal right out. One down. Down goes Laudner. O'Neill gets him there. Kirby Puckett is up next. Remember, 10-minute ticker coming up after the game. Puckett is two for four tonight. Pitch from O'Neill. And that's a patient 78. It's a ground ball to second base. Up with it is Whitaker. Throws to first, out number two. And now Ron Washington. O'Neill checking in. Now the pitch to Washington. That's an in play, but an in play 59. It's a ground ball to third. That will be taken care of by Evans. Throws it over to first, and that will do the inning. One, two, three, inning for O'Neill. At the end of eight, six to one, Twins. Will we see some ninth inning magic? If you guys want to see a real definition of it, of ninth inning RJL magic, check the inside pitch game I did today between the Blue Jays and the Yankees. You'll see some magic there. Top of the ninth inning. <clears throat> Leading off for the Tigers is going to be Lance Parrish. Schramm is going to try to complete the game if possible. So they're going to see if he can go the distance here. He has to give up two runs. He has to give up two runs in order for him to be fatigued. So he's going to stay out there and pitch to Parrish. Top of the ninth. Twin bullpen is ready to go. Parrish will hit the Shr against Schramm. And that is a tough 0-3 swing and a miss. Struck him out. Strikeout number four for Schramm. That's out number one. Next batter is Daryl Evans. He bats 260 against Wrights. He does have a home run in the game. I will let him bat. Schramm trying to go the distance. Pitch on the way. That's a patient 60. It's a walk. And Evans will trot down to first. What, did you expect a 1-2-3 inning at RJL 518 in the night? Come on. You guys know my game's better than that. Next batter is Barbaro Garby. Um, he is one for three. He bats 242. Think I'll go to the bench. And since it is the ninth inning, I can pull anybody I want. 
no matter what the at-bats is. But the funny thing is, Detroit batters against average, against righties, doesn't help them. So Garvey's, at, so Garvey's actually going to hit. So it'll be up to Garvey to see if he can keep the inning going. Schramm is the pitch. And that is an in-play 45. It's a ground ball to the pitcher. Barbie's double play rating is an 8. Schramm's is a 5. That's a 9. The throw's going to go to second to get Evans. They will not get Barb Garby, and that is two outs. That is a fielder's choice. The batter now is Dave Bergman, and I will pull him. So we will go to the bench. And I'll have to bring in a first baseman, but first we've got to find a better batter here. Coming on to pinch hit for the Tigers will be Johnny Grubb. That's 248 against the right-handers. Two outs. They're going to let Schramm pitch to him. Fans here at the Metrodome on their feet. Schramm trying to get a complete game. Pitch on the way. Wheelhouse 67. It's a base hit by Johnny Grubb. Schramm pitches a bad pitch, and Grubb does get a base hit. Garby's base running rating is a six with two outs. He will make third automatically, and it's runners in the corners with two outs. Single for Grubb. The next batter is Chet Lemon. He bats 242 against the rights. Believe it or not, that's the best average available. He will bat. Two outs. Schramm trying to get the complete game. Trying to go the distance. Twins bullpen ready to go. Six to one. Lemon at the plate. Here's the pitch from Schramm. It is a tough 57. It's a ground ball to third. Picked up there by Gaetti. Pumps once, pumps twice, throws to second. That's your game. Twins take the win over the Tigers, 6-1. to one. No runs and a hit for the Tigers. And the Twins get it. Ken Schramm goes the distance. A complete game for him. Final line score coming up. For the Twins, six runs on 14 hits and one error. For the Tigers, one run on five hits, no errors. Ken Schramm gets the win. Tanana does pick up the loss. Schramm, the complete game, a great game for him and a great win for the Twins. And with that loss, Detroit falls back to 500 at 48 and 48. And as tight as the race is for the top three in the American League East, you can't afford losses. Stay tuned. Ten-minute ticker coming right up. Minnesota beats the Tigers 6-1. to one. Let's see how the rest of Major League Baseball does here on July 28. We start with Seattle at Boston. That's a 7. Red Sox get the win 6-1. to one. Baltimore at Chicago White Sox. 
That's an 11. That is a win for the White Sox, 7 to nothing. Cleveland at Kansas City. That's a 5. Indians win 8 to 7. The Royals may not make the playoffs. Oakland taking on Milwaukee. That's a 5. A's win 7 to 1. New York Yankees at Texas. That's a 2. Yankees win 7 to 3. California taking on Toronto. That's an 8, but the Blue Jays win as well. 3 to 2. They stay ahead of the Yankees. Chicago Cubs and the Dodgers. That's an 8. Dodgers win 9-6. Cincinnati and Montreal. That's a 9, a win for the Expos, 7 to 4. Houston at the New York Mets. I know Steeler fan wants to see his Astros win. It is a six they do. Astros beat the Mets nine to one. And, and I'm sure he will be happy with that one. Atlanta takes on Philadelphia. And that is a three. It's a win for the Braves, seven to four. St. Louis taking on the Padres. That's a six. Cardinals win eight to five. Cardinals trying. They are the Cardinals right now are number four in the National League East. They got a little catching up, but they're still very much in it. Pittsburgh taking on San Francisco. That's a win for the Pirates, three to two with a ten. That is the first day. We now move on to July 29th. Not a full schedule, though. Toronto taking on Baltimore. That's a six, a win for the Blue Jays, three to one. New York Yankees taking on Cleveland. That's a nine. Indians win six to three. Kansas City playing Detroit. Big series between those two. That's a four. Royals win three to one. The Tigers now fall under 500. Texas taking on Milwaukee. Nine. Brewers win eight to nothing. Minnesota taking on Seattle. That's a two. Twins win one to nothing. Twins continue to, con to own the American League West. San Francisco taking on the Dodgers. That's a six. The Giants get a win six to five over LA. Finally, Montreal at New York Mets. And that is a five. That's a win for the Expos eight to one. As the Mets lose two games today. That's today's games. If your team won today, congratulations. If they didn't, there's always tomorrow. We will have more baseball a little bit later. Fall Classic, probably around 1030 or something like that. Mets and the Phillies, 1986. ID Jester, Steeler fans, CND Baseball TV with Tony Porter, Bob's Tabletop Sports, Tribe fan, Steeler fan, Michael Peterson. Thank you all for joining me tonight, and we will see you maybe a little later. Stay safe, healthy, smart, and strong. It is the Twins over the Tigers tonight, 6-1. to one. See you guys later.